Hey there guys, welcome back to another exciting battle report brought to you by Gaming Grots. Today we're going to be battling out in the unique battle plan, The Lurkers Below. In this mission we have unique mission parameters with the deadly denizens. Objectives cannot be controlled in the first battle round. And this one we don't really have objective score. You just have to capture all three objectives and then you win the game immediately for a major victory. But in this um, mission type, you have to keep moving like forward to get the next objective. So you have to get the one touching your deployment, depending on what side you're on, then the one in the middle, and then the one on the far side from your deployment zone. So you can't like deep strike or redeploy anything, teleport anything, and try and steal that back objective before gaining your own objective touching your border, and then the one in the middle. So you have to use that kind of forward momentum here to help you move it and get those objectives. And today we got our nice foresty badlands again. We got some different terrain pieces out, but we really like the layout with the two big ones in the center there. Help create that nice, awesome battlefield we can throw down in the center, always over that center objective. All right, guys, let's take a look at those armies. Hey there, guys. Patrick here again. Today bringing out the awesome and loving Skaven. Uh, today you're going to be doing pretty much a pure scryer focus with the exception of some clan rats to help fill up some of those battle line roles. Uh, we've got the really fun idea to just go kind of crazy on the warp lightning cannons because I've never had enough fun to bring out four of them. Uh, so starting us off, we totally have four warp lightning cannons, uh, but also grand strategy today is defend what's ours and triumph as always is inspired. Uh, my leader in general is the arch warlock himself. He's got the command trait master of magic and the esoteric warp resonator, so give him that extra warp spark, but he has to spend it every turn he generates it or it goes away. And then I have two Warlock Engineers, one with Chain Warp Lightning and one with More and More Warp Power. Oh, sorry, Arch Warlock, oh, as always, of course, has More and More Warp Power. And then for Battle Line, we have 20 Clan Rats, 20, 20 Clan Rats, both with the Rusty Blade, and then a six-man unit of Storm Fiends with the two Wind Launchers, Rattling Cannons, and two Shock Gauntlets. And then, as I said before, uh, hopefully they roll really well for Warp Lightning Cannons. That's why we have two Engineers, so we can have one Engineer per two maybe split them up a little bit so they're not all in the exact same place. And then for some weapons teams hiding in with our clan rats, I have two rattling guns and warp, one warp fire thrower. So one rattling gun is in each of the units, but um, which unit the warp fire thrower are in, my opponent will have to figure out maybe as it comes bursting out. Uh, for core battalions, we have the Galatian Command, so I have my general in one of the units of clan rats uh, to help protect him and make sure he's not getting shot off because I want him to definitely be supporting those uh, storm fiends. And then I have a battle regiment to help uh, reduce a bunch of our drops. But I have the three extra artillery, so we're still at about a six drop. So probably not gonna decide, be deciding who's going first, but maybe, just maybe. And that brings us to 1980 points today. Uh, so maybe we can get that triumph. Let's take a look at our opponent's army. Hi guys, Torn here, new to the channel. I brought my deep kit along with me. Apologies if I butchered the names a little, but the sub-faction I went with is Fushin. Uh, the grand strategy, defend what's ours. I brought the king along as my general with unstoppable fury as his command trait and the armor of Cathal with the savage ferocity mount trait. Also with him is the aspect of the storm. I brought nine Ishlin guards with me as well as three blood shivers and one alopex on the side, as well as 10 reavers to go along at the front. Okay guys, here we are after deployment. We got the scryer gun line stretching out, four warp lightning cannons, the fiends in the back, clan rats up front, and our engineers and our general in the back there. Two of my characters within range of my knot hall, so I got that bonus to casting this turn before we start moving up. And then the Deepkin Invasion, ready to come flying across. These guys have absolutely got the maneuverability on us today. I think just about everything moves like 14 inches, right? The sharks are 12 yep. or 10, yep. but still very, very fast. Um, so we'll be able to move around and then be in Deepkin, since we got the shooty army, uh, always remembering with Deepkin, we can only shoot the closest model to the shooting that the shooting unit is shooting from. Um, so that's why Torrin has definitely got those eels here today to ignore that Ren, but thankfully we've brought more than enough mortal wound output with those warp lightning cannons, if they roll okay. I mean, they might just blow themselves up. You never know. 
Um, before we decide, uh, Torn only had two drops. I had several drops. So he will be deciding who is going to go first here. But real quickly, since I have my three Scryer Heroes, let's see how many Warp Sparks we get. So we get D6 plus three. So we're going to get seven to start. And then my General creates one each turn. So we're going to have a pretty awesome amount of Warp Sparks today. And then I think it is Torin's time to decide who's going first, Torin. You will go first. All right, so let's get into Scryer. Turn one hero phase. All right, so turn one hero phase for Skaven. Uh, we Torin and I were double checking the my battle tactics, his battle tactics, and then just even the generic battle tactics. It's going to be hard for both of us just even turn one to get a back battle tactic just since we're so far away from each other and there's no easy ones, and then especially since in this mission, the unique rule that we can't secure objectives in turn one, so we can't even do like just some of those easier ones with like your Galatian commanders or whatever or what have you. Um, so we're just gonna kind of throw one away, and so we're gonna throw away uh, lead the assault because it's not achievable in this mission since there's only one objective in enemy territory. And then for my heroic action, I'm gonna get a command point on my general. Oop. He gets it. Uh, I will also try the same thing. And, oh. God. Nope. No, does not get it. All right. And then for some casting, uh, start off with more and more warp power on the Storm Fiends. Look at that seven. We've got plus one, so it goes off with an eight. Dorn doesn't have any casters, and he's definitely out of range for turn one anyways if he did have them. Uh, so those guys have more and more warp power, and then we're going to also try and throw Mystic Shield on them for my general. He gets that as well, so they've got Mystic Shield as well. Um, then other, my offensive spells, we don't have any range for, so I guess we're just going to charge an Arcane Bolt on this Engineer, just in case. Uh, he's going to fail that. All right, and that is going to be it for the Hero Phase. Let's get into Skaven Turn 1 Movement Phase. All right, so end of the movement phase, everybody advancing up because we have no range with any of our guns and we can't secure any objectives. So um, wanted to get as close for turn two when we are able to secure objectives so we can get their first objective and then also get the second objective. Um, but everybody advancing up, still moving along, engineers ready to support those warp lightning cannons. Um, and since we don't have any range, everybody advancing, we're not shooting, don't need to crack any warp sparks or use any of those up, so we we'll use uh, lose the free one my general got and then keep all seven that we started with um, And with that uh, we don't get our battle tactics, so we're gonna be at zero points after turn one for Skaven um, And with that we can go right into Deepkin turn one hero phase All right, Torin, what's your battle tactic gonna be? Battle tactic will be predators of the deep for this turn. Perfect. So yeah, this one is he has to kill a unit with, that has at least eight or more wounds with um, an Alopex. So thankfully the Warp Lightning Cannons for Torrent are eight wounds, so he can move those guys up. And since they all got the Harpoon Launchers, or sorry, the, the Crossbow Launchers, um, should be able to easily snipe one of them out with the amount of shots those guys get. So uh, with those guys moving up, should be an actual easy battle tactic for Deepkin and take that early lead in turn one. And then, what's your heroic action going to be? I will try to get a command point for the general. You got it. He no. does not. Um, already had one on the general. We'll just try. Let's put one on this engineer over here. He gets one. Perfect. And then that's going to be it for the hero phase. So we'll get into Deepkin turn one, movement phase. All right. So in the movement phase for Deepkin, the eels all moving up. More so on Torin's left flank here with all the sharks swinging over, ready to fire down into some warp lightning cannons and remove some artillery. Backed up by the aspect, and then the king moving up slowly, along with the archers in the rear, just moving up a little bit more. Um, possibly getting his double turn in where he's able to advance and shoot and still charge, advance and shoot or advance and charge with units so he can easily close that distance with them. Um, but all right, let's get into some shooting. So one shark at a time. Where are we going into? First shark into the marked target. You got it. Hitting on threes. One hit. Wounding. Wounds. And it's minus, minus one. one. Uh, so it's going to a five up. Nope, takes it. T3 damage. Nice. Three damage to start. Five left. All right, next shark. See now we're going to do all out defense on him. So I was hoping, I didn't want to use it first and then Torrent go to another target. At least this way, he's using two sharks. 
Perfect. Same target. You got it. And freeze. Oh, that's much, much better. better. Same to wound. Two so wounds. Two wounds. All right. Got me another dice here. All right. So plus one, minus one. So stand at fours. Stops both of those. All right. Next target again with the next shark. All right. So going into the wounded one. Threes. Two hits. Oh. One. So four up. Nope, goes through. D3 damage. Two more, so he's got five on him. Three left. Last shark, can he do it? Oh, one hit. Oof. Got a wound. It wounds, so four up. Oof. Oh, and so he'll be alive, and we will stop that battle tactic, which is better for me because I didn't get my turn one battle tactic. Less so for Torn because, again, I didn't get my battle tactic, so we're, it's not like he's going to be behind at least, but he had the chance to kind of pull ahead there, but not too bad. Um, and then, so that is it for shooting because the archers are definitely still out of range. Um, are we going to do any charges? Please. No, we're going to wait for our next ability. Oh, yeah, he's going to wait C, uh, yeah, for the tide to shift and to see if we can get the double. Um, so with that, there's no morale, nothing else. Um, Torn didn't get his battle tactic, so after one, it is going to be uh, nil nil, and we'll roll for priority here. Let's see it. Oh, that is definitely cocked. One, six. I don't think we could have lost it because yeah, if he has the one, we win the ties anyways. Uh, so we will definitely take it because we don't want the double turn right away, um, and see if we can get through all of these eel ethereal saves. So we'll get into Scryer, turn two, hero phase. All right, so turn two, hero phase for Skaven. We're gonna do um, gaining momentum for our battle tactics. So having more objectives and then killing one enemy unit. We're gonna elect for the orange eels because they are the closest for most of our ranged units right now. So they're gonna have to be targeting them. Um, and with that, our heroic action, I'm gonna go for a command point on my general. He gets it. Uh, heroic action for you, Tony. Same as well. On the general, does not. And then to some casting. So I'm gonna try more and more warp power on these guys. Gets it off with nine. So they've got the plus one to hit and wound. And then we're also gonna try again Mystic Shield on them. Does not go off, gonna use his Master of Magic. Still doesn't go off. All right. And then these guys are still too far away for any of our offensive spells. So again, this guy's going to try and charge an arcane bolt. He does not. All right. Well, no extra there. And that's going to be it for the hero phase. So we'll get. Oh, and then so end of hero phase. These guys take D3 mortal wounds from more and more warp power uh, last turn. So they're going to take one mortal wound. And we'll get into Skaven, turn two, movement phase. All right, so end of the movement phase, warp lighting cannons in the back here, just kind of shifting over. Clan rats moving up, trying to cover, help cut off from the sharks getting in perfect position, maybe coming, flying right over and going right at the warp lightning cannons next turn. Um, Storm fiends moving up, general moving up, uh, warp lightning cannons on my left moving up, they're awesome three inches. Um, and then showing just at the start of the shooting phase, would have already brought out uh, my two Gatling cannons, deciding to leave the warp fire thrower still hiding where he is. Um, this way we can get some more damage and help try and pop through some of these eels. But first we're gonna be start, or, and start of the shooting phase, cracking the warp spark um, from my arch warlock, using his free one, and he's gonna buff the storm fiends and the two rattling guns there. And first we're gonna start with the wounded warp lightning cannon, and he's gonna overcharge into the orange eels here. So let's see his power level. It is gonna be a four. It's kind of okay. So maybe average be six mortal wounds here. So four plus here. So we got four, five, six, exactly. So that is six mortal wounds into the orange eels. So that'll kill one and a half, I believe, right? Four wounds? Yep. Perfect. All right, we're gonna do the same thing um, with the other one. Oh, I guess I forgot too. I rolled a bunch of ones here. I have three ones. So no matter what, this Warp Lightning Cannon is going to be gone. See how much damage he did to himself. He would have done four. But he is gone. Boop. One and done for him. That's okay. He was wounded. I was pretty sure he's going to get shot dead next turn anyways. Uh, still risking it for the next one here. You want to kill those orange eels. Uh, his power is four as well. So 
again, four plus. At three, four, just five this time. And two ones, so he won't kill himself, thankfully. But he's gonna do four damage to himself. So he is half-life. But we did finish, oh no, we did five. So yeah, one with one wound remaining. Ooh. Now we're gonna get rid of that one wound there. I think we'll do it with, uh, might be overkill here, so we have to double check. Just our rangers here. See these guys, or yeah, just about 10 inches from these guys. So yeah, so Storm Fiends and the Gatling Guns have to go into green squad of eels first. Uh, so yeah, we're actually gonna start with the Gatling Gun, Rattling Gun here. So he's gonna push it to the limit, as always, for Scryer, gotta do it. Uh, so he gets 46 plus three shots here, and if he rolls a double, he is destroyed. But he did get buffed from the Warp Crystal, so these are gonna be two damage shots. Uh, so there's the double, so he's going to be gone, but he does get to shoot at full effect here. So that is 10, 17 with the plus 3 will be 20 shots exactly. So grab a few more dice. Perfect. Alright, now 20 shots here. Um, since we already have the plus 1 to hit and wound on the other, or on our Storm Fiends with more and more warp, I'm gonna use all out attack here on this rattling gun here. So he's gonna be hitting on threes. Perfect, pretty good. And then wounding on threes. Three, six, nine saves. Would be Ren one, but they are ethereal. Oh, it is, sorry, it is fours to wound. I had to double check that there. So it is actually only five, six saves here. Four up. Loves it, so he only t fails two, so that'll just kill one, one eel. Uh, green squad? Yep, end of the green eel squad there. All right, and then other rattling gun. It's gonna do the same thing. Hopefully this guy doesn't kill himself. Oh, he does with the snake. Oh, he double did, and not so great shots. Oh, but never mind. It's lucky thirteen. So we'll see what he can do. Nine, thirteen. So he's gonna be gone as well. We're just blowing ourselves off the table. Uh, without all out attack, he's gonna be hitting on fours. Really good, see? Lucky 13, I guess. And then wounding on fours. Yeah, he did even better than the other guy, I think. Uh, six saves. No, I think that's pretty much the same. Six more. Fours again. Oh, and four go through. So yeah, that is eight damage. That'll finish off green squad. So now the storm fiends will have access to our blue eels here. And double check, I didn't ruin my chances for my Warp Lightning. Oh, we got one for sure. Yeah, they can yeah. both do it. So I'll have to do them first, because the Storm Fiends will still have range with their uh, grenade launchers. Probably not going to have range with the Rattling Gun, or the Gatling Guns. Uh, so first Warp Lightning, let's push it. Um, what's his power level going to be? Sorry. He gets a three. Ooh. Much better. I'm hoping for that one to just say pick them up. 12 wounds, but hopefully don't blow ourselves up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He did not roll a lot of three pluses, and that's a lot of ones. So we got five mortal wounds, and he's got four D3 damage coming to himself. So he's got to get lucky. Oh, he's very dead. That's three, six, eight, nine. Woo! We might be going overkill with the overcharge. That's okay. We did, yeah, five, so we got one and one more damage. Uh, last warp lightning is not gonna overcharge. We'll calm it down. We lost two already, and our rattling guns. Power level four, here we get six, six shots for not overcharging. And on fours, 
Uh, that's pretty good for only on six. So we did four uh, mortal wounds there. So kill in one more eel. And then we will go to Storm Fiends with the wind launchers. Double check those guys. I always forget how many. Yeah, they get the three shots. So we got two, so we're gonna be six shots, and we have plus one to hit wound, so hitting on threes. Misses, and wounding on two. Uh, three wounds. Four up. Oh, much better. Loves it. All right. Oh, let's make sure. Sorry. Poor rattling guns. Blah. So we might have done a lot more damage to ourselves. Um. All right. So we definitely got to charge and kill that eel with these clan rats here. So that is it for our shoe steam. Uh, so going into the charge phase, yeah, charging with these clan rats. Seven, they're going to be getting in there. Pile those guys in and see where we're at. I definitely don't want to accidentally tag any sharks just yet. They will munch through some clan rats. All right, so here is where the clan rats finish. Not going to pile in much more. We got 13 of the rats uh, within range there with the extra one from the claw leader. Um, so it should be enough because he's only got the one wound remaining on the eel. So hoping these guys can finish it with the lucky 13 in range. Um, but we actually get 14 dice because it was plus one. Uh, I'm going to give these guys all out attack to make sure we can get it done. All right, let's see it, clan rats. Give us that battle tactic. Oh, dear. I see a lot of low numbers. A couple sixes. That is below. Uh, now wounding on fours. Uh, so three saves on a four plus says we should get it. Oh, I see it. We got it. Just, just <laughs> barely. Oh, so bloody close. All right. Woo, now we got our battle tactic and we will have our first objective and the middle objective, which means we could claim the third objective and win the game outright. But obviously, these sharks are gonna get some vengeance for the eels here. Uh, what's the bravery on the eels? Bravery. I think they're they're elves, so I'm sure it's probably pretty high. Cause don't they get plus one from the banner, which is also a part of the sergeant? Their bravery is seven. Seven, oh. and yeah, plus one for the champion or the standard bearer. Sorry. Yeah. So you're good on the blue squad there. Perfect. All right. So yeah, that's going to be it for Skaven um, turn two. Or sorry, end of shooting phase. I have to see for using a warp spark. If my general gets hurt, he is okay. Um, and with that, get into Deepkin turn two hero phase. All right. So turn two hero phase for Deepkin. Uh, battle tactics going to be eye for an eye. Awesome. Get some revenge and then heroic action. Just command point on the general. Can you finally get it? Come oh, on, let's get one. Um, let's go for one on uh, this guy over here. Sharks might come mess him up. Oops. Hey, gets it. All right, and that's going to be it for the hero phase. Get into turn two movement. Um, oh, I guess just reminding everyone, this uh, this tide ability gives Torrin access to either running and charging with a unit or running and shooting with that unit. They can't do both, but helps them make up a lot of ground um, for their turn two. So we'll get into turn two movement phase for Deepkin. All right, so end of the movement phase for Deepkin, all the sharks advancing, both of these guys getting just a little bit over enough to get over the clan rats. Made it so I couldn't really redeploy and kind of block these guys and kind of pinned in with those clan rats. Um, General moving up, getting into the center, ready to do his awesome command ability. Other sharks moving over, ready to charge into the storm fiends. Um, the Reavers? Yeah. Yeah. Advancing up, ready to lay down that arrow fire and get rid of those clan rats. And then the aspect just staring down at these poor clan rats who are probably terrified as he's coming in. Um, and with that, so we're going shooting. Um, since he advanced with the sharks, uh, Torrin's not shooting with the sharks because he wants to be able to charge with them, so not going to be any shots from the sharks this turn, but a wicked volley about to come in from the Reavers, so let's see it into the clan rats. So 20 shots, hitting on threes. Got it. And 
shooting on threes as well. Seven. Seven. Two Chevy. Some barley quick. Yeah. Minus one, right? Yep. Six is. So we stop one, so we're going to lose six rats here. I'm going to take them this side here. Two, four, six. Go on, playing rats. All right, and then that's going to be it for shooting. Yep. So, all right, here come the charges. Let's start with Red Shark here, so he's the non shiver. We'll go into the. Seven, so you can go into the fiends. Actually, yeah, let's do the fiends. All right, we were hoping the shiver might have charged first, but we might as well use our unleash hell now. Uh, so I'm gonna let you do, I guess. Well, we'll do it now because might make it easier for these subsequent charges that will okay. go into the fiends here. Okay. So real quickly, let's see what we got here. Uh, so they still have the more more war power, so the plus one minus one from to hit, so they're back to their regular. Uh, so I'm just going to start with the grenade launchers, uh, so hitting on fours, uh, so two hits, wounding on twos, one wound, uh, it's minus two. Yes. So six up for Alapex. Just one. One, three. Three. Yeah. So D3 for three damage so far, and then the nasty Gatling guns, how many shots do we get? We're going to get ten. 22 shots. Uh, so six. All right, let's see we do this. 22 shots from the Gatling. Uh, and so again, plus one, minus one. So hitting on threes for these. Gonna have to do this two kind of rolls. That dice. Uh, so hitting on threes here. Oop, that was a one there. Awesome. And then we're going to be wounded on threes. Oh, lost one. Grab that in a sec. All right. And on threes. Oh, that's pretty darn good. That's three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen. Lucky thirteen for Skaven. Uh, minus one, so five ups. Five ups. Oh, pretty good stops, but I think we might have enough. To... Yep. They only have ten wounds. Ten wounds. So yeah, oh, he fails. Five, five six. Oh, oh he's you alive have one. One wound left. One. Woo! Wow. Ate it. Ate that Overwatch. Awesome. All right, and then back to charges. So we'll do this blood shiver. Yep. Hopefully got enough. Oh, that is... That hurts. Fail no matter what he is. We're going to put those to the side. Yeah. <laughs> is he? Are you going to use your reroll now on him? No. no. We're gonna, yeah, we're going to let that unfortunately go through. So we will do the general. Okay. So yeah, he'd love a fat roll to come in on the storm fiends, but that's going to just get him to some clan rats. And then he gets to do his impact from his mount, right? Yep. So two plus, Hits. does D3 mortal wounds. One. For one mortal wound, one kill. One guy over here. Ah. And at the end of his charge phase, he's allowed to do a special ability that uh, pick up to D3 units within wholly within 12 inches to affect them for the high tide effect, which allows them to fight first this turn. Awesome. Yep. So yeah, he's going to be doing that and picking those guys when after he finishes all his charges here. Mm -hmm. I will do that one. Let's so get seven. seven. Definitely. You can go into the fiends for sure. Yeah. That. The other blood sugar. Let's see where he's going. So he's only going six. six. He might be short on the fiends, but yeah, you can definitely yeah. make the uh, oh, warp lightning. Yeah. yeah, he needs a seven for the fiends. Unfortunately, we're going this way with that. Ooh. And last but not least, the aspect. Yeah. He is definitely in there. He knows where he's going. And when uh. he he can heal up the D3 wounds, but he's full health, so there's so, no need. Perfect. 
All right, that's it for charges. Yep. So we'll get right into the combat phase. Well, I guess pick which, um, so you oh, get to, right. is it D3? Get three or it, no, it is, D3. Yeah, D3. D3. Yeah, okay. D3. Oh, that's that's cocked. definitely cocked. So three units get fight. So I guess two uh, sharks there yeah. in itself. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> all right. So the all three of these guys are going to be swinging first here, and we'll get started with them when we get right into combat phase. All right. So turn starting. Going to do both sharks at the same time. Uh, we're going to be using all out defense uh, with these guys who also still have the mystic shield. So they're going to be plus two, so they're going to be on a three plus save here, so pretty resilient, but he definitely gets the extra bites because of the one wound on there as well. All right, and he has plus one to hit from his general who gives it to everybody wholly within nine. All right, let's see it, Sharks. So start with the bites. Uh, no, actually we're starting with the hook and blade. Hook and blade, let's see it. Six attacks each, hitting on twos. Wounded yeah. on threes. So yeah. five. Five on um, three plus. So one goes through for one damage, right? Yep. Perfect. It. So two damage on the back. And the bite. Hit on twos. Oh my. Wow, of course. Um, oh, you get that extra. Yeah, the one extra hit for okay. the six there. And three wounds. So still three ups. Oh, failed two. There, two damage. Minus two, yeah. Two damage, minus two. So that'll finish off the storm feed. Um, mm. Alright, and then General also fighting first. Ready to cut down some clan rats. Five attacks, hit on two. All hit. Wounding on three. Oof, oh, that hurts. Up. Minus two. Oh, or, straight through. Yeah, or no, sorry, greatsword's only minus one. Oh, six. Hey, what a block. Oh, nice save on that. And Time for the mount. Yep. Three for the tail, actually one more because of his ability. Hitting on threes. Winning on threes. That's better. Three minus one. Sixes, step one. One sorry, damage. actually, the tails are on no minus, two damage though. No uh, minus on it. No minus, so four more are going to be gone. He's at the minus. Take them there. They're just yeah. falling. The lashing tails have the minus. Oh, Ooh. tails. Miss completely. That's, that's it for the general? Yeah, that's it for the general. And then you get your pick first. I will so, definitely be going with the aspect on that one. Awesome. Let's see if he can finish off those clan rats. Four attacks, plus one for the charge. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me, hitting on twos. Three. Three. Four minus two. Yep. And this two has damage. the increased damage for charging this yep. one. Yep. So three damage each. So that's 12 dead. How many do I have left? Four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Oh yeah, I got three left. And then he still got two more weapons. We will do this fish, which is two d six attacks. Nice. Five. Five hitting on fours. Three hitting on fours. Two, two more. No we're on those. No. Right. Five it's fish. Nope, two more dead. One left. And the last but not least, the call hook. Hit on threes. And wounding on threes. No wound. Oh, wow, he's not. The one clan wow. rat will win. All right, not that we're going to get much of a response because he's done with all that, so we can either go with the, the clan rat will get to go, but that means, let's see if... The Warp Lightning Cannon has a chance of doing something. All right, so it gets D6 attacks with his rusty knives. <laughs> one hit, or one attack. Hits on a four. It hits. Wounds on a four. It wounds. I seriously doubt it has rend, but let's just make sure. It does not have rend. Solid three up. 
go. Perfect. Oh, I guess, yeah, they're four, four up. Yeah. Oh, sorry, four either. up. I thought you were into the aspect there. No, my mistake. Yeah. All right, see if the shark can finish him off. He's only got to do four damage, so you get an extra shark bite as well because he's wounded. Okay, so four bites. Hitting on threes. Hitting on threes, wounding on threes. Two wounds, minus, minus two. Two? Yep. Sixes. Nope. Two damage each. And that'll chop the last. Well, the third, the second last work lightning cannon. Bam. All right, and then we have all these Skaven attacks back that we can do. So quickly, Claw Lord. He hits once. He misses. All right, and then we got to do, see what we can. Storm Fiends, see how we can pile these guys in. All right, so after piling it in, there we are with the Storm Fiends. Going to do the Chain Lightning and two of the clubs into the Full Health Shark, and then hoping the one set of club attacks can finish off the one wound remaining shark there. So let's see if the one with clubbing blows can do it. Whoop, I think that's all of them missing. Yeah, it is on fours. Oh dear, that's what we get for splitting attacks. All right, starting then go to the shot gauntlet here. Oh, I have plus one to hit wound from more and more war power. So three of those are hits. I was just mentioning that to Torrin. Yep. Uh, so three hits, thankfully, and then two to wound. Uh, two wounds, but no rend. So four ups. There's the one, we got him. And then the shot gauntlet here, starting on two. Sixes are much better. There's a six, so this becomes D6 hits, so three. So I add just two more dice there, and then all hit. And then wounding on twos. Uh, so that is six wounds, and they are minus one, two, sorry. So sixes. And they're two damage a pop. So he stops one, takes 10 damage, and that will end the shark. Um, I don't want to pile in the clan rats, because now we're out. Because, yeah, we were just out of three because he failed the charge. So they're not going to pile in and tag anybody. And that's going to be it for combat this turn. That was very, very bloody. Shark's gone. Artillery's gone. Clan rats are going to be gone. Uh, yeah, because going to morale now... Um, I'm going to use the auto pass on the clan rats because I really actually do still want those guys to stick around. So let's see on storm fiends. Should be okay. Bravery six. We're good. We only lost the one. Um, and then this guy is absolutely fleeing because <laughs> they're gone. Um, and then so end of battle shock. There's going to be D3 clan rats coming back to the other unit. So we get two clan rats back over there. Make sure to add those. Um, and then Torrin absolutely gets his battle tactic. So that is two points. So it is two, two at the end of two. And Torrin has secured his back objective, but I'm still holding the center objective here just because we have um, slightly more model worth two here and then a couple of clan rats. But with that, we're gonna roll for a pretty important priority here. Let's see for turn three. I got a two. Oh, another solid, one. Solid, solid one. Keeping Torn away from the double, and we will absolutely take it. So Mystic Shield and more and more warp are going away, and those guys are going to get hurt a bit. And we'll get into Skaven, turn three, hero phase. All right, so turn three for Skaven. Uh, battle tactic, we're going to be doing our eye for an eye this time. Um, and then heroic action, gonna try for a command point on my general there. He does not get it. Uh, what do you feel like doing here? Uh, definitely a command point on general again. Does no. not, he does not want one at all today. All right, and then for casting, uh, as always, more and more warp power on the Storm Fiends. Goes off. And then he's gonna try to do his jacked up warp lightning storm here and he's gonna push the reactor so hopefully he gets it uh with an eight double check i never really get a chance to do it it's on a seven so it'll be d6 mortal wounds to d d3 targets within 13 so i only need two we get it so it's going to be d6 into both of these so into shark takes five mortal wounds and into general takes four mortal wounds. Um, engineer over here is doing his lightning storm. Uh, he's also going to push. 
Whoa. <laughs> Look at that roll. Uh, seven. <laughs> that will go off. And do D6 mortal wounds into the shark in front of him for six mortal wounds. Woo. And then, oh no, sorry, that's oh, from this guy over sorry. here. Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice if I could do it into that one. <laughs> no, that's this guy's a chance to do something, and then he's going to be running for his life for a gnaw hole before that shark gets him. Um, and then Engineer in the back is just going to Mystic Shield. He doesn't have range on the Fiend, so he's going to put it on my General. And goes off on the General. So the General's got Mystic, and the Fiends have more and more warp power. And then end of Hero Phase, they're taking their D3 mortal wounds from losing more and more warp power last turn. And they're going to take one mortal wound. And we will throw that on our melee variant. Oh, going to have to definitely not have him in the middle. Um, and then being high tide now for Deepkin, we got to make sure we're only doing our shooting and not getting into combat because Deepkin get to fight first for this entire battle round. So let's get into Skaven turn three movement phase. All right, so into the movement phase, Stormfiend squaring up, ready to fire into the shark and the general, or maybe the aspect if we can get rid of these guys with other shots. Warp fire thrower coming out, ready to fire down into the reavers and then Warp Lightning Cannon and Engineer moving so slightly. Uh, General coming around here, he's gonna attempt to do a long bomb into this shark cause he's feeling frisky. Um, so start off with the Warp Fire Thrower. So he's gonna get 10 shots and he's pushing it. <coughs> so they'll be on three pluses, but every one is a mortal wound to himself. But every three plus is a mortal wound. So he does two mortals to himself, so he's alive with one wound. And then he's going to do six mortal wounds to the reapers, killing six of them. And then Warp Lightning Cannon is going to go into the shark. How much do we do to him? Five? Yeah, he's going to push it. Why not? Uh, his power level is going to be five. Uh-oh. That's not very good. Let's see if he can do it. Uh, he did. He's going to hurt himself. But I think yet he got just enough five mortal wounds. That'll kill off the shark. But he's going to do 3d3 to himself. He could blow himself up. Oh, he did just enough. He did eight damage exactly to himself. No more warp lightning cannons. Uh, General's going to use his once per game warp fire gauntlet on a two plus. Does d3 mortal wounds. Goes off for three mortal wounds into the shark. So he's got three left. And then the fiends. All right, I guess they got to go overkill um, into the general. So we'll start with the wind launchers. Oh, sorry, I guess I forgot to clear, but uh, always cracking the crystal, made sure within 13 for the fiends here. Might not have needed it anyways, but you get that free crystal every turn. Uh, so five hits, hitting on threes with more and more work, wounding on twos. Uh, so four wounds, minus two. Yeah, so five up. Uh, do you want all our defense? No. So three going through, so these are D3 plus one. Oof, that is 12 damage. The man takes Just, oof. general down. And then no targets for the grappling guns. Oh, that is it for shooting. And then we're going to charge with the general. He needs a nine. He's not going to make it. He's going to use a reroll. He's not making it. Um, and that's gonna be it. Uh, so we still have our two tactics here, and we got our battle or two objectives. Um, one touch of my deployment, and the one in the center, and got our battle tactic for two. So up to four points after three for Skaven, and we'll get into Deepkin turn three. All right, so turn three for Deep Cam. What's your battle tactic, Torn? Gaining momentum. All right, yeah, so we talked about he's going all or nothing here because really if he can actually get rid of the fiends here, he's in a really good position um, to turn this mission around. Um, so that is killing a unit and then having more objectives. So hopefully get the fiends and get that middle objective. Um, what's your heroic action going to be? Uh, Finest hour? Probably, yeah. 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 So give him that plus one save and plus one to wound. 
and then uh, my heroic action, I guess I'm just gonna command point on my general. He gets it. Just throw that there to remember, and get into deepkin, turn three, movement phase. All right, guys, sorry. Yeah, we totally forgot to do it real quick. We talked about it. Torm was absolutely going to use a rally on the Reavers there because they were not locked up. Um, we did it quickly off camera, so we got two Reavers back. So apologies for forgetting to actually roll that in the hero phase. Uh, but otherwise, for the rest of the movement, uh, Eel moving up, uh, Aspect moving up, Shark, everybody ready to pounce on the Fiends here. Um, the Eel going to be coming in clutch here because he'll be able to eat the overwatch so these two can actually make sure they get in and do that extra damage all right so starting off with reavers yep so they're going into the fiends ten shots and since they're within nine plus one to hit so hit Got on it. twos yeah perfect all hit and wounding on threes all oh, but one so nine, nine. Woo, good shooting uh so they are not uh, Mystic Shielded this time, so minus one, so they're going to fives. Ooh, we only stopped two, so that is seven damage, so one fiend down, five, six, seven damage. Ooh. All right. Thankfully, at least that makes it slightly more difficult charge, but probably still pretty easy for those guys. All right, uh, and the shark, four shots. Hit on threes. Three hits, love it. And I've completely forgot before, he is within 12, he gives him a plus one to wound. Is it in shooting as well as melee? Or is oh it melee no, you're only? actually correct, just melee, you're yeah. right. Yeah. So three, so still, still two. two. And minus one, so fives. Stop both of those, sweet. Wow. He did that. Um, all right, so that is it for shooting. Let's see those charges. So, uh, Eel yeah. first to the big eat one. that Overwatch. Pretty sure he just needed a four. Yep. So he's in there. So we're definitely gonna use it. Get rid of one less attacker. Uh, so three <laughs> hits from the launcher. Wounding on twos. Ooh, only one. Any red? Uh, ethereal, right? Oh, yeah. Through. Goes through. So D three. Two damage. Ooh. He's got one left, and then so Gatling guns. Gonna get eight, nine, ten, sixteen shots. And plus one minus one, so it's still back to threes. Oh, only two misses. Wow, that's really good. But we're expecting to probably kill the seal and wounding on twos. So that's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. So those four up, he's got to roll pretty awesome here. No, that will light him up. So there's that CP general. And the rest of the are ready to freely charge. So we'll do reverse first. Yeah, I'm looking to kill that warp fire thrower. Yep. Oh, I just remember too, yeah, pro might adjust so don't know if you want to tag the clan rats just yet, because then if you don't tag them, right, oh, when I charge in, you might get to do unleash. Perfect. We'll do aspect. Aspect. Five should be enough, but those are some big fiend bases. Yep, yep, it's good, it's just under five. And the shark. So again, probably look for a five. Oh, he can go. He can go anywhere. Hop into that too. All right, and then so since it's high tide, all of these uh, deep can get to fight first. So this is gonna hurt. We are absolutely using our all-out defense on the storm piece to get them to three up for now. Uh, so who are we gonna start with? Shark? Yeah, we'll go shark first. So he definitely gets the extra shark bite as well. So, so we'll do bar hook first. Hit. hit on threes. Yes. Oh, and then you also, you were slightly less points, so you do have the triumph, so you can give plus one to wound. Oh, okay. So well, you could use it on, he already has it, because you're using yeah. um, its um, finest hour. Yep. So you could use it on your shark to be wounding on twos. Sure. Yeah. That's, yeah, absolutely. We definitely want to be getting rid of these speeds. We need as much damage as and possible. That's why. So <laughs> In the way I've been rolling. Uh, so 
The barbs are just minus. Are they minus no, one? No, no, two. Okay, so just one damage. Are three ups. Uh, still fail two, so that's two more damage. One with two health left, mm. and then the four bites. The so what matters, and oh. that is very rough. Yeah. Wow, shark. They have been underperforming today. Absolutely. All right, aspect. Um, save the day. So he gets five for the charge. Spear hitting on twos. Wounded on twos. Well, now it's got it. So five minus two, right? Yep. Uh, so plus one, three ups, minus two on five ups. Oh, we stopped only one, and those are three damage each? Yes. So that's 12 damage. So that is. One, two, eight, and then four more. One, two, one of them. Uh oh. Uh oh, Storm Fiends. Let's do his fish. 2d6 for attacks. Ten. Love it. So they're hitting on threes and moving on threes. Well, there we go. Only two misses. And that is five. No minus. Uh, so three ups. Or sorry, four. I just realized that was a two. Oh, okay. Uh, so oh, I'll re-roll one. Let's say cool. So take one more. And then the uh, the hook. The hook. Four attacks. Hit on twos. Wounding on twos. So three hits. Two, two wounds. Minus. Uh, one. One, so plus one, minus one, back to fours. Uh, both through. One damage, or two damage, sorry. Each, so that'll be one, three onto him. Woo, almost got him. Thankfully, he's out of range. But that will get Torin gaining momentum because I only have two on the objective, and he's going to have four, so he will get that battle tactic. Perfect. And then Reaver's here. We got four going to attack in there, hitting on threes and wounding on threes. Three hits. Oh. All right. I didn't think I'd be looking up at the work part to do the melee. Two rusty knife attacks. One hit. No wound. All right. Deadlock over there. I'm okay with that. All right, so Storm Fiends are very, very messed up. Uh, using our last CP, thankfully, general in range to auto pass those guys. But um, yeah, we got to do a rally because with only three wounds left, um, if I don't get one to come back with rally, he could die from more and more warp power and not even get a chance to shoot next turn, which would would not be good for us. But with that, that was a pretty awesome turn. For needed. Deepkin, smashing really up, you got, what, four? Yeah, you got four Storm Fiends. That yeah, time. that was so needed. That's uh, that's really good cutting down. Um, awesome. All right, so we'll go to priority, but you get your battle tactic because... Oh, no, I guess you don't. You didn't finish, finish off a no. unit. You, did get, you do get the objective, so you do have the center objective now, but you didn't get your battle tactic. So it will be four to two in favor of Skeven after... Uh, three turns, and we're going to priority. Got a three. Two. Oh, thankfully, we get to go and possibly save the Storm Fiends. Um, so we'll get right into Skaven, turn four, hero phase. All right, so turn four, hero phase for Skaven. Um, I think I forgot to point out, um, people are probably wondering where my engineer in front of that shark went. He auto-advanced the six and got to the gnaw hole and teleported back here. Uh, so since he's back there cheekily, we're gonna be doing Desecrate Lands this turn. Um, and then we're gonna be doing a command point on the general. He gets it. Um, heroic action for, oh. does he want, yeah, you want a CP because you only got, he doesn't have his general, so he yeah. only got two at the start of this turn. Hey, he go. gets it. The general failed every time. <laughs> New general. <laughs> um, and then, very importantly, we are rallying because more and more warp is end of phase. Oh, we did not get a six. Oh, no. So we'll come down to that D3 roll. Woo! 
Ooh, that's scary. Um, okay, and then so casting. Um, General's going to be doing that signature spell of his, his, his unique, slightly different than the engineer's uh, warp lightning because he gets D3 targets, and he's going to push it. Um, so look for that seven. Gets it. Uh, so D3 targets here. See if I can get both. He does. So they're both going to take um, D6 mortal wounds. So the shark, he's only got three left, three damage. We got the shark. And then start starting into the aspect, five mortal wounds. And then he will cast... Um, I want to risk one more war power because after that fiend gets hurt this time, he's definitely going to die the next time. Uh, he'll just mystic shield himself. Which he does. And then engineer... Um, back here is going to try arcane bolt. He gets it with the plus one being near the Nahu. And then nothing for this guy back here to cast. And with that, we'll get into Skaven turn four movement phase. Die! Oh, I guess we gotta see what even happens with more more war power. I forgot. End of the hero phase. Two damage. He's alive with one wound left. Whoo! Thank goodness. He will get to shoot one last time before something probably shoots him. All right, back to the movement phase. All right, end of the movement phase. Uh, my second engineer. Move back, went through the knot hole, coming out as far as he can so we can get ready to get that possible auto win. A major victory. Other one moving up, making sure we got our desecrate. Uh, clan rats ready to move in for the kill. Maybe they have to finish him off. Storm Fiend ready to fire in with everything he's got. And the Warp Fire Thrower can hopefully take down some more Reavers. But with that, we'll start with the Warp Fire Thrower. So there are six Reavers. Oh, let's see it. Uh, yeah, he's definitely going to push it for the three plus which will probably kill himself, but it will. Hey, there's the one he dies, but he takes down five Reavers with him on his way out the door. And then the Storm Fiend, one last volley, buddy. Can you do it? We'll give him the all-out attack. He's only gonna get nine shots, not too bad. Hit on twos, all hit. Wounding on threes. Seven wounds, minus one. Gonna all out defense. Yep. So plus one, minus one, back to three up. And this is with the crack spark. Two, th uh, three, three, sorry. Ooh, so that is six damage. All right, end of the shooting phase. I know I always forget, but I'm always cracking warp spark on these guys. Um, did my general get hurt? He does not. All right, Clan Rats, he's got one wound left. Let's see it. All right, four inches. We'll pile these guys in and see what we can do. All right, the Clan Rats are in there. Everybody's in range and definitely giving them all out attack because we just need one to get through. So we got 17 attacks with that extra one from the Claw, Lord, claw Leader. So hitting on threes now. Oh. Oh, okay, better than I thought, better than I thought. If only we had curse on there were more than enough sixes. And then wounded on fours, so we got five. And you're all out defensing. Yep. Because yeah, you got the extra CP, so it is your last one. So he's got two, five, two plus saves to make. Can he do it? He <laughs> does it. We did not finish the aspect, but we will secure the uh, center objective here, and. That will be um, get our battle tactics. So we're up um, six to two after four turns, and we'll get into Beacon uh, turn four. Oh, we guys forgot uh, Bravery quickly for the Reavers. Uh, with five guys gone, Bravery seven, three plus, he'll be out of there. Hey. He's very gone. So that's no more Reavers. So it is up to the Aspect in turn four. All right, and we talked it out with those Reavers, um, failing morale and not having that second unit makes it really hard for, definitely not able for Torrent in the next two turns to get all three of these objectives back, because uh, now he's losing the middle here and he can't really charge into the Fiend because of Mighty and Unleash, killing the Aspect before he can heal. Um, so with that, we're gonna call it here and the Skaven will be victorious today, but so very close game. I don't know if people might 
but realized um, Deep Kim rolling into turn four there, if he won the priority there, he could have like just about instantly won the game. Uh, the Shark would have stayed there, held the middle objective. Aspect could have just moved over here. All he would have had to do is kill the general, take that objective, and would have immediately won at the top of four for Deakin. So it was a super duper close game. Fun Literally game. came down to one priority roll. Um, it was a blast having Torn on the channel for the first time, showing off his Deakin that he's been working on for a long time, getting these guys painted up. Um, hope you guys like seeing Deakin on the channel for the first time. We've never had them on the channel, so it was really awesome. Um, Fortunately, we kind of had a bit of the counter to the ethereal uh, Ishlin guard here, just having so many warp lightning cannons. Obviously, I went through them all myself, <laughs> blowing them up, but they did their job and got through that ethereal and just those harder to get through armies, especially with ended up being against Deepkin today, um, not getting to choose which targets, always having to shoot the closest target can be quite difficult sometimes. So I love seeing the Ishlin guard in the list because just having them fanned out in front, it just means you have to shoot into that quite sturdy unit so it's really awesome um but again don't forget to like comment and subscribe to stay up to date on all things gaming grots guys hope you enjoyed the battle report uh be sure to check out thunder games and gifts they'll take care of you for all your used hobby model needs they're really awesome and if you're ever in london here don't be afraid to check out game night just an awesome gaming spot so have another great night guys and we'll catch you next time see you later